So what I want to have a look at in this video is something called Access Reviews. Now Access Reviews are part of Azure ADP2, so you'll need an appropriate license of Azure ADP2 to allow and follow through the same steps here. Now there are a couple of different ways of doing Access Reviews, and the first way I'll show you here is to go into Identity Governance. If we go into Identity Governance, down the bottom here you'll see that you have an option called uh, Access Reviews. And when that uh, basically refreshes, you'll see we go in and create a new access review. All right, and we're going to select from these two options, so teams and groups and applications. So we're going to look at teams and groups. Applications are very similar, uh, but slightly different entities. So we'll go add teams and groups here, and you'll see that we have the option for all Microsoft 365 groups with guest users or teams and groups here. All right, so we'll select this second one few more options in there and we'll select a group from our environment so we're going to select all company go select and now you'll see I can scope this to be guest users only so I can verify or review any guest users so typically those who are Azure B2B outside my organization review them and make sure there aren't uh, ones in there that shouldn't or I can select the option for all users so in this case I'll do all users I will then go and continue. You'll see here that we can do a multi-stage review if we want, which is in preview, so we can have multiple people review this. I'll leave that just as a single reviewer. So I'm going here and I will select just a single reviewer. So I'll make the super user or the global admin the uh, administrator. But you will notice here that we can select the group owner, the users to review their own uh, connections and also uh, the managers of those users but we'll leave this as it is uh, we'll specify the uh, recurrence of the review in this case we're only going to do it one time all right and the start date will be right now so let's go next now here we've got uh, the ability to apply any of the results so for example if a user is deemed to no longer or no longer need access to uh, the area then we can act on that automatically in this case i'm just going to leave that unchecked and again, you'll see here, if there is no response from the reviewer, uh, we can take an action like removing access. So if there's no action taken, then uh, users that have been determined to, um, you know, that should be denied access will be removed from the group. You'll see here that we can also enable uh, decision helpers around things like no sign-in for 30 days, require a justification, email notifications are enabled, reminders, so that the user that has to do the review will be prompted, any additional items there so let's go review and create so we're going to call this uh, just call this uh, teams and groups so we know uh, what it is so let's call it teams and groups access review okay and we will go in and create that now once we've created that an email will be sent to our uh, super user there and then go in and take action on that so let's review let's just refresh this and see that it does appear in this console shortly uh, and then we will head off to the email and uh, follow the actions that have been sent to us so here's our uh, review here we can click on this to get uh, more information so we can go in here and we can see who it's been assigned to we can for example delete it if we want to we can look at any results that have been obtained all right so none yet uh, the reviewers that have been nominated and you'll see here that we can add further reviewers uh, and some settings there that we made when we created that option and we also have the ability to uh, audit what's going on here all right so again what we'll do is go back to identity government governance and uh, wait a moment for that email to come through to our super user here so they can act on that review okay so as you can see that email has arrived so if I select on it you'll see here that the reviewer needs to take action and I can go in and select the option here to start the review now when I do so I'll be taken to myaccess.microsoft.com I could navigate there obviously directly if I wanted to so here is uh, the review all right so I can select this I can go in and have a look uh, at the details all right so you can see here that the um, super user basically is you know assigned uh, to that group so if we go in here and have a look at the details so there is the uh, group information all right now you'll see what I can do here is I can accept the uh, recommendations here right or I can deny or I can uh, approve uh, this if I want 
So if we have a look uh, at this uh, review here, so let's go into the details. You'll see here what it's uh, recommending is that we approve the user because basically the user has logged in uh, within the 30 day time period. So they're obviously still active according uh, to the rules here. So the idea here is to allow that user to continue. So what I'm gonna do just to keep things easy is I will go in there and I will select uh, the approved and I'll say this is all good and I will now uh, submit that. All right, so that's going to allow this continued access for the user uh, to that group. If I go back to uh, this environment here, let's just refresh the page. And what we should see is we should hopefully see that that um, has been updated. So I'll wait for a moment to that for that to display. All right, so you'll see that it still does say that it's active. So let's click into it here just to get some more details around it. You'll see that uh, we have got the approved option here. So let's go into the results and have a look. So you'll see the super user here, the outcome was approved and the recommended action was uh, approved. So we're all good with that. So if we go into the audit details, you'll see that will give us the uh, low level uh, logging detail around uh, what happened. So we do get a fair bit of granularity here. Again, we can have a look at the reviewers. You can see that you've also got a remind option as well that if they haven't completed their task, you can remind them and these were the settings for that review. So that one's basically uh, gone through and uh, been done now. Now, what we can do here is, again, think of this uh, as one sort of access review. The other access review we can do is basically part of privileged identity management. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna pop across to privileged identity management. All right, so let's go in here and what you'll see is that to go and do a review of the Azure AD roles, right? So rather than the access to a group or a team, which is what we just completed, we want to review the Azure AD role assignments here. So we do that inside PIM. So we go into Privilege Identity Management. Down the bottom here, you'll see that under Manage, there's an option called Access Reviews. All right, so let's go in and uh, see and create a new access review. So let's go in and create a new access review. So we'll have this one check for global admin. All right, you'll see that it's one time. We can obviously schedule this to happen uh, regularly if we want. All right, you'll see here that we can have a start date and end date, the scope. In this case, we're going to select all users and groups. And if we want, we could do service principles as well. I'm going to select the role here. So this is the role I'm going to uh, basically go and look for. So let me go and select global administrator because that's what I want to verify um, that the right people have access to being a global administrator in my environment. All right, so you'll see here um, all active and eligible assignments. I'm going to uh, basically uh, select the user to review this. So in this case, once again, uh, it's going to be my super user here, so select that. All right, now if I pull this down, you'll see upon completion, am I again going to apply the results um, that I set here? So again, if somebody is a global admin and we don't want them to be a global admin, uh, and we deny that access, we can enforce uh, that deny here by setting this to uh, enable. We've also got the option again that if the reviewer doesn't respond, what action do we want to take? You know, remove the access and so on. So how do we sort of want to uh, handle that by default if there's no, uh, you know, the reviewer doesn't complete the process in time. And at the end of the review, we want to send a notification. So what I'll do is I will send the notification to the super user again. So they do have uh, that option. Then I'm going to go to advanced settings. Now you'll see here that it's going to give me the ability to show recommendations, require a reason on approval, email notifications, reminder, uh, and so on. So I'm going to go in here and hit start. And you'll see that it will create that new uh, access review for me. And once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for you know that email to turn up in the super users inbox so that they can go and uh, take action on that. Okay, so as you can see, that new review uh, has now appeared as an email. All right, so I was going to say, go and please review access to the global admin role. So let's go in and select the option to review. Now, because this effectively is uh, via PIM, we're going to go back to the Azure console here. So you'll see that these are the results. So check for global admin. Uh, I've got details here and you'll see that 
it has found only one user is set to uh, global admin. And if we go in here and look at the uh, audit details, again, we'll get uh, fairly detailed information about uh, that. And then you'll see here what we can do is we can select that. And what we can do here is we can go and say, again, all good. All right, and then we'll go in there and we would uh, approve uh, that request. So very similar to the other sort of um, you know, access review that we're doing with the Teams or the groups. But remember, the difference here is we're doing it for our Azure AD roles and we can obviously you know, approve or deny. But I'm going to go in there and approve that and let that finish through. So you'll see the update has been done. Now, if I go back to my initial environment here, look at access reviews again in PIM as the global administrator, you'll see that it is listed here and you'll see that uh, I would normally see any review access listed here as well. So this is where the listing is. Again, I can uh, select this and this would take me to that location so I could navigate to it uh, manually if I want rather than waiting for the email. And if we go to access reviews, and click on that that will give us uh, again more details around this we can go in and you'll see that it has been approved we can look at uh, the results much as we could uh, before we can look at the reviewers or add additional reviewers send reminders and so on so a lot of these capabilities are very similar but remember the big difference here is the ones that we do through pim are for our azure ad roles so global admin exchange admin sharepoint and so on Whereas the others that we do through identity governance are typically for membership to uh, existing groups, right? So we want to verify, for example, whether external users are still permitted to be inside those groups and whether the appropriate members of those groups are still valid. So that's the difference here. So one, we start off that process for members of groups, typically in identity governance. And if we want to do and evaluate Azure AD roles uh, using access reviews, we would go into PIM and then select Azure AD roles. And in there, we would go in and uh, create a new access review and go through that process. And the really good thing about all of this, as you can see, is that it's well audited, well tracked. Um, you get the results here. And if you want, you can schedule this to happen on a regular basis so that once you've set this up, uh, it can be done every one month or three, six months or whatever to evaluate that. You can add and remove reviewers as uh, as needed. Now, remember to allow access reviews, both of the ones that we've talked about here, you're going to need to have Azure AD P2. So that is a limitation or a requirement for these access reviews. So with all that, hopefully you've got a much better idea of the handy capabilities and the security improvements that access reviews do provide. And I thank you very much for watching the video.